Hey everybody! So today I'm going to give you a basic introduction into the WordPress core. I call this WordPress 101 level. It's very basic. I create, I'm creating this because I've seen a lot of comments and conversation and discussion about WordPress core and I've seen a lot of arbitrary replies and information that just it seems like there's a lot of different information going around and it's important to understand this very basic thing, particularly if you're a business owner, you're a developer, or you're working with WordPress in some capacity. So the first thing to understand is the WordPress core. So I'm going to represent the core as this circle. Okay, think about the core as kind of like a brain, an engine, or a nervous system, if you can put those together in some way. So this core essentially is the backbone and the workhorse behind WordPress. When you first get WordPress, let's say you download it. If I spell that right. You download a fresh copy of WordPress. You've got the core, which is what we just discussed. And then you have technically the content. Now, all of this comes together. The content, however, is an area that can be modified and updated. And there are specific ways to control this content so that this core can maintain completely intact. And let's say there's a security update or WordPress has new features being released. So you want to download WordPress again. And let's say it's a new version. Let's say, let's say you had version 3.0 and you downloaded 3.9 and you want to update this. So what happens to this and what happens to this when you make that update? Well, when you customize WordPress, again, there's a very specific pattern and method of going about it so that this content stays separated from the core. And when I say that, this gets a little involved and I don't, I want to keep this very one-on-one -on -one and basic, but in a, in a very basic nutshell, this content can be set up in such a way so that this core can always be updated and you can always update to the latest version of WordPress. You can update as they come out, keep this core intact and keep this content for the most part is going to be very safe if this is set up properly. So when, if you read a comment and you read something that says never modify the core, never touch the core, understand this basic reason why. So this content area, let's say, is responsible for the design and custom functionality. Okay, I'm gonna abbreviate C for custom. So custom functions and design. Say so this content area is responsible for all the cool extra features that you put onto your website, however you go about doing that. Now, this content section, if you're a developer like myself, or you have a developer or a programmer doing work for you or a designer and such, they would use this content area, make modifications, and in some cases, particularly when you're doing functional programming, meaning you're adding a new feature or something that actually does something, this content programming relies on this core data. So let's say that we removed a piece of the core. So there's a chunk missing you can see here, right? And let's say, I'm going to make it dotted so it's a little more pronounced for myself. Okay, let's say you take a bite out of the core. So you, you just delete something, you didn't want something, so you got rid of it on your website. So now, let's say a designer or a programmer comes in and they go to program something. 
Again, I'm just talking very basic terms. I don't want to get into high level detail, advanced stuff at all. Your programmer comes in, wants to make some updates, so he builds this code, okay? He builds this program. Now, this program, let's say, was dependent upon this code that's missing in the core. Let's say that there was some interdependency here of this application, this custom program that he built, and something the core had. So that's one major problem right there that you could potentially run into if you modify or mess with the core. So that's number one. And I'm just going to list out the two most frequent ones that I've seen and that I've dealt with in the past that had to resolve. Okay, so you have this core problem and you've got this. Okay, so now let's say WordPress, the next version comes out and I'm going to be uh, arbitrary here. I'm going to say version 4.2 doesn't exist exactly. So I'm going to say version 4.2 comes out. So you want to upgrade the core. So now, when you update this core, when you update your WordPress installation, which is usually just one click, very simple process. If you're a business owner, you own a WordPress site, you've probably seen a notification letting you know that there's a new version available. So you go to update this. Now what you've done is you've overwritten this early chunk and, and the whole core is back again, okay? Now, given this content area was set up correctly by your programmer or designer, then nothing really should be affected much here. In most cases, it's not. And this program that was written by your programmer technically might start working. You may have come across a scenario where you you ran into some trouble with your WordPress site and somebody made a suggestion, well, upgrade WordPress, update to the latest version, see what happens. So you update to the latest version of WordPress and all of a sudden, miraculously, something just starts working again. Now, I'm not saying that was a core issue because obviously I do case by case basis and you know, I'm pretty realistic. That could be a possibility, just a, just a possibility. But for example, that could be a, a scenario. So, so you've got number one, you got the application that won't function properly because some of the core is missing that's dependent on that. And you've got number two, which is the upgraded version of the core, which is overriding anything you did in the core. So technically, anything you want to do, functional or design, 99% of the time, and again, this is arbitrary. I'm saying 99% because I advise no one to mess with the core unless you're experimental unless you're contributing to the application itself or you're doing something else that is completely outside the box of any standard procedure of developing with WordPress. Okay, so, and that would be considered hacking the core normally. That's, if you hear that phrase, it's normally considered hacking the core. Okay, so, okay, so you got number one and number two, you got your updates, so you can see how you could run into multiple conflicts and create problems for your website for the future of your online business. Now, most importantly, a lot of WordPress updates include security patches. So if you start messing with this core and you realize that your developer or designer created things that were reliant on this core hack that may have occurred, then you can't safely upgrade your WordPress unless you know what files were modified, what's what, and that can turn into just a bird's nest of complication. So, to square one, simplicity. Don't modify the core unless you know why you're doing it, but don't ever do it unless you have a very specific reason. And even if someone tells you you need to hack the core, post on my, my word, post on this video and let me know, because I want to know why, because I could probably give you an answer and avoid that whole scenario. So, and I'd be curious to know why as well, because I've seen some really interesting solutions put into place that just made things really complicated for website owners. And you could also think of it kind of like you buy a new car, you buy a great new car, it's got a beautiful engine in it, and you could analogize hacking the core with modifying the engine yourself. 
Okay, you can do an oil change, maybe, you know, these basic things, but why would you modify your engine unless you knew exactly what you were doing and why you were doing it and what the repercussions of it are? And if you're running an online business, you don't want to mess with your online business, it's particularly if you have a shopping cart or some online interdependency of information collection or communication. So that's about it. In a nutshell, that's the WordPress core. These are the two main reasons I say not modify it. And I would say 99% of the time, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, you never have to mess with it, never have to hack the core. Again, there are very specific reasons you might want to do that. So I'm not shutting it out completely, but that should clear up what the core is. And hopefully that makes sense. So thanks for watching. Look forward to my up and coming tutorials.